That one ripped right center field. Well, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your one in. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the new. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but count a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the dives. What a play! Love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get. Welcome to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. We've got open-air baseball for you on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the hill here today, Jesus Lazardo. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And there's a foul ball. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. The next oh. offering misses. Now one and two. That one missing oh. inside. Two two on the way. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, no swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. Here comes a three two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Pajes off of first with two away. Swings and misses, struck him out. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. And at the plate for Miami, Jeremy De La Rosa. One run batted in yesterday, their only run of the game. The 2 Lined, and that's a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Bang, bang, play at the plate right there. Outfielder needed no help. An absolutely perfect throw to get him right on the money. Excellent tag by the catcher, and the inning ends on an awesome play. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's Lowry's Montero. Hoagland back to work. And that one lifted in the air center field. Jaquez makes the grab one away. The batter, number one, second baseman. Next to hit, Emmanuel Jaquez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch. It was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. That one ripped. Bangs off the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. He was all over that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Grounded out his first time. Man at second. Runner takes off for third. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. We're midway in the fourth. We are tied 2-2. So two down, here's Ramon Laureano. Struck out swinging his first time. He'll one. Line drive, base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. That smash towards center. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. For Miami. First and third, two away. And now it's Dalton Varsho. He's 0 for 1. This to center field. Haquez makes the catch. And that is that. Marlins strand a pair. Score remains deadlock. Go ahead, run on base. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. One for two. That clips the corner. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Telez at second with two down. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Padre. So two down. Now at the plate, Dalton Varsho. And that one is lifted in the air. Haquez under it. And he makes the catch. And that's the third out. Next for the Padres, Emmanuel Paquez. One for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That misses oh. off the outside edge. Swing and a miss. Now two balls and a strike. Fooled on that pitch. Got a little anxious. And it's even up. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. No, he held up. Next offering is fouled back. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One run game here in the top of the ninth. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Stefan checks over to first, and he's back. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your runner on the goal. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Here's the throw. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on a third with one away. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Really important at bat coming up now. Manny Machado up to the plate. Corner infielders playing in. 
Now a screamer into the outfield. Machado out of the play. Here comes the runner from third. To the plate. Safe. And we are tied. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag to tag takes a little bit of time by the time that outfield. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Emmanuel Paquez. In the air, fairly deep to right field. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting, right fielder, Teatro Fernandez. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4 to four for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Tuesday baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And today's starting pitcher, Sixto Sanchez. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, this team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Jaquez gets under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Two. Emmanuel Jaquez digs in now. Ball one, no strikes. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. <laughs> and now Teoscar Hernandez. And he deals. In the air, right field. Hampson in position. Squeezes it. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. And here is Matt Chapman. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. Runner on the goal. High fly ball out of the left center field. Makes the catch. Runner tags from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time, and they cut down the run to end the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Emmanuel Paquez reached on an infield single his first time.
Now fly ball to right center. Number 20 trots over to his left. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And that is that. One hit in the inning. A soul Back here at Lone Depot Park. And now the center fielder, number 20. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. A chance now to take the lead. So two away with nobody on. Emmanuel Jaquez, the next to hit. That hits the dirt. Ball one. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. To the right side, Torres handles, whips it to first on the run. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for San Diego. They and it's Rafael Devers in the box. He's already homered here in this one. And Devers hits that one. Snags it on the run. And that will end the inning. And one, two. One gone runner at first. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Breaking ball inside. And it's a ball to strike. Pajes, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Pitch misses, two and one. And now the lefty swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Kicks and deals. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two two now. And that one off the outside edge. Still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound. He's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. At the belt and fires. Grounder might be two. Devers tossed the second on the first. Got him. And it's a double play to end it. Oh, real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Baseball fans and welcome. It's going to be a scorcher out there today. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, first pitch coming up on the hill here today. Devin Smeltzer. 
Very dominant his last time out. Picked up the win. Only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Emmanuel Paquez. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. One strike. The pitch. And a count one and two. One down, base is empty. And that one is inside. Second inning here, no score. Next one misses, and a full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 3-2. Fouled off the plate, they'll do it again. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. And yeah, there's ball four. Ball four. Thank you, mate. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Runner on the goal. Popped up. And it falls. They take the force out. Fine play in the hole for the out. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. Seems like you just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. Two outs, nobody on. And now for the Marlins, Jeremy De La Rosa. Flied out his first time. High fly ball out to center field. Long run, tracks it down. And that's the inning. And the Marlins. So digging in now for San Diego, Emmanuel Paquez. Emmanuel Paquez. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. And ball one. Hard hit left side. Gets it to first, yeah. and they got him. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Ground Let's out. the defense work behind okay. him with another ground. Up One out, base is empty. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. He's 0 for 1. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Paquez goes 5 feet 11 inches. 190 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. One and one. The pitch. Where do you even begin oh. with the talent we've seen from the Dominican one. Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Can't glove it cleanly. Throw to first, yeah. gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Oh, boy, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of Emmanuel Paquez, the next up for the Padres. Swing and a miss. Pitch is outside. One and two. Frazier leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering in the dirt. And that's ball two. Now this is in the air down the line. Varsho moving under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Four runs in the inning, and they've jumped. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. 
Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. And a couple of quick outs. Now back, second baseman. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the shortstop at the now play, batting. Jacob Amaya. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Labor Torres up to hit. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Center field. Jaquez puts it away, one away. The battle, the white field. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum, but at home you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining.